You're listening to Polished Woman, only on L.A. Talk Radio. Hello, ladies. Another good episode for Polished Woman. I'm excited about this because I have the beautiful <laughs> Eva LaRue. Yay. And Melissa Bitten. Thank you so much. Yes, thank we're you gonna, for having me. We're going to you know, listen and know about her life. Uh, which is very interesting. It made me cry when I spoke to her. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's really very touching. So before anything else, I want to do my intro. When you become a parent, I think that one of the first things that you realize is that there's no real right way to do it because every kid is different. Yes, you can read the books or watch the videos, and that might give you some help. But none of them are especially... um, are uh, specifically for your child. So what they suggest doesn't always work for everyone, right? Or it only uh, or it only kind of half works. And you get through it and you learn because you have to. And at least um, at least that's what you're supposed to do. Some parents take a different uh, route and it ends up hurting their children instead of helping them. This is what I always think about how my kids when I'm trying to discipline them Outwardly, they obey by sitting for a timeout, but thinking I'm standing up in the inside. That's how they are, right? Okay, you do this, and then, okay, mom, but really, they don't really, like, follow you. Right, right. So, (laughs) yeah, first, I just want to say, um, Melissa, that I know how difficult being a single mom can be because I was once a single mom. and Me too. And, yeah, and and so as Eva. But, um, yeah, but my first two children, I wasn't. So I know there's a balance that um, have to find between working and being a parent and wanting to give them the best and, of course, you know, being there for them, right? Absolutely. So, Eva, I'm really excited about this whole, you know, this whole thing that you're into right now. This is amazing. This is amazing, by the way. And, you know, it's good to be a part of that. It is. It's, yeah. I'm really excited. I just joined the. Um, I just joined a startup company that's not so much a startup company anymore yeah. because it's really thriving, and it's called CircleForParents.com. And I'm their media advisor and also sort of their spokesperson. Yeah. And so at CircleForParents.com, it's we're calling it the Amazon of parent coaching. Ooh, so you can go nice. and have coaching on any myriad of yeah. of um, parent topics and yeah. parent parenting issues mm-hmm. with a real coach doctor therapist and and specialist okay. um, via zoom which okay. is like Skype if you don't know what zoom is right. and so you're seeing your coach I like in real that. time I like it too. and you can either do it one-on-one or you can join an actual um, a conversation with uh, six to twelve people okay. and you can see all of each other because what what they're finding is that we're so out of touch with our um, with our social media that it's yeah. actually disconnecting us even more we're feeling even more alone mm-hmm. and where people are really starting to thrive are in these circles in these communities where people are being able to talk together and and cross-reference their pain and their struggles and um, yeah. and so they're really finding that this is working amazing so you can you can check in any time of the day or night. You can find a session going on right this second um, on idea. CircleForParents.com. Really great idea. Literally on every issue from um, you know from postpartum depression to Ooh. you know um, dealing with two year olds to um, to teen anxiety to children yeah. who are cutting to oh. parenting through divorce yeah. to um, you know me time and self care to dieting and and health care tips. How, those did, kind of how things. did you get involved into this what made you you know okay I want to be involved like I want to be a part of this I feel like when I went through my divorce four years ago Mm -hmm. and I really found myself emotionally spiritually psychologically and physically face planted like face planted yeah Yeah. and we spoke about this in the green room a bit when and you know what no one is immune to um heartache and no one is immune and and we've all had varying degrees of it in our lives and there's always that one person that really hands it to you on a platter like Mm -hmm. really hands your ass to you on a platter as it were and and you know it's it's our time to regroup it's i really feel like it's the universe and god saying hey you need to 
you need to check yourself. Exactly. <laughs> you, need to, right? you need a personality adjustment. <laughs> so and, bad. you know, and, and we can make it about the other person, which is very human. Yes. And we do that. Of course, of course we do. But the, the ultimate goal is to not make it about the other person. I feel like the ultimate goal in this is to find healing through forgiveness, which is the hardest thing to do. Oh, but that, so hard. that forgiveness totally is. is forgiveness it's of ourselves. Yeah. It totally is. And that's harder to do it, it, than to forgive it, it the other is. person. It totally is. And, and accepting, right there with and accepting what you've done wrong. You know, right. like a lot most exactly. of the time. Yeah, most but then the really yeah. going to bat for yourself and yeah. putting in the work to change yeah, that stuff. Absolutely, yeah. It's, it's putting it's in yeah. the it's work. Right. Yeah, because yeah. only through that work are you going to find healing. Otherwise, yeah, you're so right. we all have girlfriends who are bitter and hateful and angry because they never okay. got through the other side yeah, by, right. by putting the work in. They continued yeah. to put the blame on the other person. Right. And or finding yourself as a victim yes. right. all the time. Victim, victim, yep, victim. Victim, yeah. victim, victim. That's easy to do. I right. did it. We all do it. We do like, it. I do know. It. I know. But the key is to yank yourself yeah. out of that sunken place, mm -hmm. like from the movie Watch Out. Yes, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Pull yourself yeah, up from the sunken yeah. place. Because guess what? Your kids need you. I know. And that's the hardest uh, part because they're the going to, into the sunken place too. And there's or even more so. And they're not telling you about it. Exactly. And, and they hold it they and they hold it in, and they're and you're not even noticing it because you're in your sunken your own, place. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So it's it's that part, and that's where I found that my daughter really started having massive anxiety. Right. So her grades started to hit the skids. Yeah. She went through a bout of cutting. She and this is like I'm a not really familiar yeah. with all of this with yeah. so many kids I know and from you know in the single family uh, settings. It's just amazing so what we see in, yeah. in in high school. You know, I'm amongst. So many kids that are single from broken families as well. That's the majority. Yeah, and I see so much stuff out there that is, it's devastating. Not just mm -hmm. in my situation, but amongst. I mean, from cutting. I have seen kids from our school that have found themselves in front of a train okay. and, and commit suicide. Oh my God! I mean, there is stuff out there that you wouldn't believe, mm -hmm. and the social stuff and the media is crazy. But just having kids and that I. I'm so close to and that now as a single mom, mm -hmm. I invite so many kids into my home that come from broken homes and as a nurturing I mean, mom yeah. and yeah. as a school teacher, mm -hmm. I have that you nurturing see. heart. Yeah. So I yeah. allow them into my home and I hear a lot of stuff that other people don't. And okay. they tell me what's out there. There is the meth out there, there is the cocaine, there is there's the, the parents' drugs that they're bu that course, they're stealing yes. and selling. But to they're each like, other. Mom, you have no idea what's out there. I mean, there's the yeah. ecstasy. There is so much stuff. There's, out there's there. a lot out there. There oh, is yeah. so much yeah. out there. Yeah. You know, and thank God my kids aren't doing that. I and mean, they're all they feeling alone. Some, they're yes. all feeling totally alone. I mean, and alone. they've got some of the kids have parents and fed the feds, uh, federal you know, prisons, and there's. And these are great kids that are on the uh, sports teams. Yes. Yeah. You know? Yeah, they look from the outside like their lives are perfect. They're the popular kid. Right. They're the cute exactly. kid. They're the pretty kid. Yeah. They're all these things. They but look like they've got it all together, but they're right. feeling intensely yeah. alone. Yes. Yes. And they've yeah. got their, and the amount And that's of why these kids together these kids. have these bonds, and they are like, it's kind of like therapy, like we were talking about, yeah. you know? Like group therapy. Group therapy. Yeah. And yeah. they are just networking together. And they are, have got these great bonds with these friends, and they're all different kinds of social mm -hmm. upbringings. Yeah. You know, some are from the higher, and some are from the. They don't care. They you just have this beautiful bond together, yeah. which I find is amazing. Yeah. It's just a beautiful. It, it's, it's such a way to heal. Non-discrimination, and it's just beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. So this this group that you're into right now. So like for example, if she had a problem with her kids, she can join you. Yes, she could join. Yeah, she, could well, join. she would join. Um, she would go to circleforparents.com. Mm -hmm. She would find a session that was on uh, teen anxiety okay. or, or parenting kids with with anxiety, okay. and she would join that group. She could either uh, find um, a coach that just was a one-on-one -on -one coach if she Perfect. wanted that, oh, or Perfect. you could find a coaching session which had up to 12 people that have all these different stories. I, what it really does is just make the parent not feel alone, alone and like you've got a weirdo kid or like it's strange. Yeah. 
that it's so normal because we've putting, I mean, you as a school teacher must see this all the time, but the amount of stress and pressure we put on our kids versus when we went to school. Yeah. I mean, they can't get into a college anymore. I mean, yeah, exactly. Uh, they, it's my, impossible my to get into the schools. Two, two not, even two yeah, not even yeah. enough. Not enough. Not even enough. She just yeah. got the, yeah. the Light of Knowledge Award, and that's two years, freshman and sophomore year, 4.0. That's yeah. still not enough. It's still not yeah. enough. And, they, you know? and they're so anxious, and they're all feel. My daughter was telling me the other day, she said, Mom, in math, I'm afraid to ask any questions because I already feel so stupid. Oh, that, and then when I do ask questions, she said the teacher is like, I already went over this. You should already know this. And yeah. she's like, okay, but I don't. So <laughs> now you've just cut me off from being able to ask oh. a question. So then at one point in the year, she Darn was getting it. a D in math. And I'm oh. like, and, and she's like, Mom, I'm never going to go to any of the colleges I want to go to. Mm. And that amount of pressure was stressing her. She would ha- was having terrible. anxiety attacks where she said she would have to leave math class just to go sit in the bathroom and do breathing exercises because we have an amazing um, therapist that we yeah. work with. Oh. But um, who's really taught her like right self-meditation yeah. and breathing exercises yeah. when she has these onset anxiety attacks because she's like, I'm too stupid. I'm never going to be able to pull it off. Yeah. But, mm. you oh, know, through a lot of work and a lot of coaching, she's gotten past those negative beliefs and now she's actually getting a B in math which is in, intense wow. and insane. Yay. Like yeah. So awesome. there is a light at the end of the tunnel but you yes. do have to get your kids help. Yes. yes. It's you can't just hope for the best. We don't have we'd like to have everything for them okay. but we're not everything for them. Yeah. No, you know, we're it's not, not enough. It's, it's not, not enough. Is it enough. A yeah. question is it is it still right that you have that you have your kids communicate with the dads with your exes? Of course. Oh, of course. It's, you need yeah. to. It will backfire it on you if they two. don't. You yeah. have to. Yeah. I know people who have done the, you're not going to spend any time with that yeah. dad. I'm no, taking her and you're you not. have to have Guess what? That. Two years later, that kid, it'll backfire. That kid yeah. will end up living with that parent and Ooh, you have, yeah. oh, okay, it backfires that. every yeah. time. That child needs both sides. Yeah. They need yeah. a mom and a dad no matter yeah. what. Yeah. Okay, so tell us about, you know, your story and what really happened because I, I actually was asking her, how about the neglecting of their kids i mean can if if someone you know if like an ex-husband abandoned abandon, yeah, yeah abandon mm-hmm. their kids i mean can someone help it's probably you know? the deepest scar i think yeah we it, talked you can about it we yeah, were talking what, about what it we went through um yeah. uh Fantastic family, uh, 20 years. I, I, you oh my God. Your story is heartbreaking. Yeah, yeah. yeah yes. it's been really hard. Mm-hmm. Um, unfortunately, it went sour, and um, and uh, like many marriages or relationships, yes. yeah. um, it, it went the other way. And um, it's it, 20 years, by the way. 20 yeah. years, yeah. And um, mm. so and there the was, abandonment went yeah. uh, to another woman. But um, so the kids and I were stuck alone for a, a year. Um, he was in and out talking to the kids mm. and somewhat, but very little mm-hmm. and uh, very scarring. Um, but we're surviving. And mm-hmm. um, you are surviving. Yeah. I'm really yeah. proud of you. Thank you. What kind it of anxiety did you yeah. see come out of that for your oh, kids? My because. Gosh. Um, we had to I have mean, we're all, we, you know, you go through your own heartbreak and then it's hard to even notice and then you wake yeah. up and go, oh my God, you're super my, struggling. Well, my kids were vomiting. They, they're actually yeah, now in a children's hospital either. and yeah. been having upper GIs and signs And they of have ulcer as well. Ulcer, yeah. yeah. I was vomiting yeah. blood. I had uh, bleeding ulcers. Oh my God. Um, and then, and that was earlier, but now they're having like post-traumatic yeah. um, stress mm-hmm. and ah, they need, they, common. doctors all said, they need therapy. They need to have some therapy. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's horrible. Oh, and, but there should really be no stigma around that. Yeah, like, well, therapy should just be. I mean, because when we think about it in in um, in the corporate world, there's corporate coaching yeah, the, all day and night. Yeah. Unfortunately, their they father it, doesn't believe in therapy. Right, and he, you know, yeah. but they nobody don't has need a problem with no the word problem. coaching. <laughs> right, yeah, coaching. But people better. have a problem right. with the word therapy. Like therapy. Right. So maybe you should just tell him you're going to get the some, kids. Some, well, the doctor told some him, but coaching. he just doesn't. <laughs> yeah. doesn't believe in it. Yeah. Now, now, my daughter as well says, "Mom, I don't need it. I'm not crazy." Um, my daughter said that too. I'm I said, not crazy, this is and I can not talk to my friends. They say that. I See, know. And I, I have because to there's that stigma there's around stigma. therapy. Yeah, yeah. that's why I really think using the word coaching, coaching. is coaching is it's better. Life coaching. It is so yeah. true. Yeah. Yeah. you don't need a psychotherapist no. or a psychiatrist. You just need somebody to coach right. you through the better. The, um, 
Well, because what happens is with anxiety, um, they find that you get on a neurological loop. Okay. Right. And that loop is a PTSD loop that, it's that, PT, create, yes. that creates right, a, yeah. the anxiety. Exactly. So what we have to learn to do through coaching okay. is um, create like new neuro pathways coaching. around the anxiety. Right. And that's and around the PTSD. Exactly. EMDR is great for that. That's one of the best um, um, modalities. Yeah. Have you ever heard of that? No, They're using to it to incredible success with um, veterans. Oh, and I did it's, hear yeah, about that. it's amazing. Yes. It's really and, and rape victims and mm -hmm. victims of any kind of trauma. I mean, this major is trauma. trauma. Yeah. I mean, it's post traumatic stress. It is. It really, and it's coming up more in the vomiting and then yes. have no appetite, yeah. Yeah. The, the stomach pains. Because I went through it, they saw me go through so much right. that so they kind of right. had to take care yeah. of me. Right. Yeah. So now that mom's doing better, now it's effect it's, that's it's, coming it's, out of them. Right. That makes sense. Unfortunately. But how do you yeah, think so? Sense. How do you think they feel when you know you tell other people about their story, like about what's you know happening, what they're going through? I was, through. you know, I I think because I feel like they hate that. Right? They they do. They, Kaya's they cool with it like, now yeah. because she's. You know, because we talked about it, I also got her permission yeah. uh, to do it without their permission. Yeah, oh man, course. are yeah. you That's persona why I non grata? Yeah. Any names or yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. But Kaya actually got to the point where she was like, you know what, mom? All my friends are feeling the same way okay. with uh, insane amounts of stress from school and anxiety, but nobody is really talking about it. Okay. And she said, and, every, and she said, and everybody skirts the issue. But what I'm realizing when we start to get into a conversation is that people are feeling insane amounts of stress uh -huh. and you know that school is hard we're, they're, they're not only supposed to get a 4.0 to 4.5 with a weighted GPA mm -hmm. but then they're supposed oh, to have community service up the wazoo it's they're, supposed now, to, yeah. they're supposed to be varsity sport yeah. and a ASB president and, yeah. and right. this is all to get into I a know. college my daughter's summer. doing all of this stuff yeah. Yeah. and no wonder her stomach's upset and no free and then summer because summer and then you have to be working college courses yeah college courses over the summer no. so they no. get and no the dad's break. taking the cars away in this because if she misses one day oh of school God. and it's like, are you kidding me? Yeah, it's yeah. too Let much. Let them be kids. We didn't yeah. have that growing up. Right. We didn't. We didn't have built-in anxiety. Yeah, if we, we, we got an A, anxiety. Daddy would you know maybe give us an a, you know. Right, yeah, 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 you got ten bucks. Yeah, be yeah, happy. Be happy. I got ten bucks for A. Yeah. I was like very excited. You didn't excited. get yeah. anything for the negative. You got a positive yeah. reinforcement. Yeah. Right. Now we've got now them going twenty-four-seven negative. As adults, they'll never be able to quell or calm or satiate that anxiety. Right. Because we built it in them from the time right. they're little. Yeah. And I want to let everyone know for more information, mindful about um, what time, is probably. Yeah. <laughs> we're chitty chatting no, no, a lot. No, 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 no. But this is the no, kind of topic um, you could talk about literally forever. Because, like you yes. said, every child is different. Yeah. Every child de deals with stress differently. Um, at, you know, they don't want to talk about it. Right. So when you're like, how are you doing? How's school? Fine. I know. Why do they? Good. Why do they do that? They only yeah. they Fine. answer you with one word. Yeah. And you're like, you want to get, you want to get more, and like. No. Sometimes you can get them on a yeah. long car drive. You when know exactly. Stuck in the that's car what I was gonna you. say. Yeah. In the car, yeah. you can get it, and then they'll if, unless they're putting yeah. the music really loud. Right. Like or they put the music. Mine puts or her yeah, earphones yeah, 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 in, yeah, yeah, so yeah, she yeah. doesn't have to talk yeah. to me. <laughs> really loud. You know what? I can't hear. you. I can't hear you. Or mine pretends to be asleep. Uh, uh -huh, yeah, uh -huh. in the car. Oh, I'm yeah, sleeping. Yeah, I'm taking it yeah, yeah. So, Eva, is this organization something anyone can get involved with? Either you know, we, just to help or volunteer. Like, for example, if I want to be involved, like, do I can I go as a you know as a volunteer, or if I don't have a problem, or if I just had oh, an experience? Oh, that's a good question. Oh, yeah. if you yeah. had an experience, you could yeah. join any one of those sessions at CircleForParents.com. Okay. You could go on, find a session. So you that, don't have that, to be like a therapist or a coach. Your, or something, no, no, no. Right? We have they are coaches and and oh, therapists and okay. doctors and specialists okay. that that actually are the moderators for each session. Oh, okay. So you go and you click into a session that you that piques your interest, okay. and then there's a moderator, there is a specialist for a specialist coach um, or okay. doctor coach for each session, and um, and then you would join. and And the thing and, is, yeah. your story would be helpful and can be helpful to to other, pe other the people the other people in that session. Yeah, right. Which is what that's the that's magic. That's the best part. It's the yeah. community yeah. part. Yeah, it's the healing part. It takes a village. It takes a village. Oh, I yes. love that. Yeah. 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 yeah, because there are some people that doesn't have that they don't have that problem right now but then they can you know they they're can just share. learning about their problem yes exactly. they're learning about their problem and with other people's yeah. problems 
we learn so much more. Well, like from you were just saying all these things, if you weren't paying attention, you would just think that your kids actually had medical issues. Right. Where, you know, I spoke right. to a pediatrician the other day and he said that um, that he sees all the time that kids are, that are going through the divorce have phantom headaches, phantom stomach yes. aches, they yes. run all these tests, they don't know what's going on. Right. And yeah. then he finds out later, oh, they were going through divorce. a divorce. However, yeah. in the um, upper GI, they did find two spots of oh, chronic... Wow. Vo uh, the chronic uh, ulcer, ulcer but not ulcer, but of where the vomiting has been going on and on. Oh, so no. it's got it could you know not it could, not, it could accelerate. Have gone accelerated. So you can yeah. actually get ulcer from oh my god, oh the stress, the stress. Oh, the stress. Oh, oh, yeah. I had stress. bleeding oh, ulcers. Yeah. Wow. 100%. Yeah. That's where the stress ah. causes I was vomiting blood. Unbelievable it, it amount so of so much stress and broken teeth from clinching. Oh. It's just from it's TMJ. Yeah. And, so yeah. Yeah. women, you know, if you're vomiting blood and you're <laughs> head <laughs> ulcer, <laughs> it's not because oh my god, there's something wrong with right. me. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. anxiety and stress right. can trigger right. this. So yeah, for sure. Oh wow, yeah. it's good to it's good to find out about that. Yeah. And so how um But what, you got to remember if you are going through a divorce or anything like this or any anxiety you need to remember that there is light at the end of the tunnel there okay. is. and you need to just reach out to your friends and uh, prayer as well is good. Um, but prayer is always your good. Yeah, prayer something like is, your yeah. community, this your yeah. service or meditation, is, is meditation everything. is fantastic. Oh my gosh! Um, but just know and that self care. You are self care. Self -care. There's but so everything, and we put like ourselves last as mothers yeah. forever. But I guarantee you, there is light yeah. at the end of the but tunnel. But put put in the work. But you have to put in. You the have work. to yes. put in the work, yeah. and there and is. it seems like it's not gonna. It's gonna be the worst, and it's horrible. But. It Michelle, does. do you yeah, have, because we Michelle. have to um, wrap up yeah. now, yeah. do you have any advice with the situation that, you know, you went through? Do you have any advice um, to all women out there who's, you know, going through the same Yes, I, I'm doing? just telling you, uh, stay by your kids and don't give up. Um, be strong. And uh, I just tell you, I promise you it will get better. And... Um, just love yourself and remember mm -hmm. to put yourself yes. first because without you, your kids won't. If mom is not happy, your kids they aren't going to be happy. Mm -hmm. You need to take care of you because no one else will. And you need to be there for our, your babies and your family and just for yourself. Be happy and remember to smell the roses. You look beautiful. Thank you. After that, I saw you like two years ago. I know. I right? was a mess. Yeah. I she was a mess. Great. Yeah, thank you. And Eva, I'm excited about this whole, but I Me know too. that you have a travel blog, right? I do. Can I you have like, tell uh, Eva LaRue.luxury. Um, at evilaroo.luxury, I've got my travel blog, and also um, I write a, a luxury travel mm -hmm. um, article for uh, discover.luxury. It's actually um, under travel.luxury. So I think that we'll helps have to go on a lot. trip. And yeah. I'm going to travel. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. I, think, yeah. I think that helps Art a lot, too, that you're traveling with, you know, with yeah. your daughter. Yeah, oh, I drag my kid everywhere. And just, you know, just That's the where I extract you, right? the best information. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's trapped with me. Yeah, because yeah. when it's like, I, I spent two months with my daughter in New York just I know yeah. and, and you get so close, close. Yeah, you got so you close get it's so like close. the best thing that ever happened to yeah. me yes. yeah. yeah it is so, you know, also the, the, this thing has made our kid the kids and I so close yeah kind and of it too. will bring you close yeah, yeah. That is it's been a gift, gift. It, it has it, been a gift it really has been a beautiful yeah. gift it so, is okay so remember circle circleforparents.com and travel.luxury where I'm the travel ambassador Okay, and Woo! don't forget, date like a girl, marry like a woman. My advice of the day. I'm sure you've heard the saying that it takes a village to raise a child, and that's true. But it has to be the right kind of village, right? The yeah. right yes. community. Find your peeps. Find your peeps. Yes, find yeah. your peeps. <laughs> your children need positive people in their lives, people who will help them and uplift them. And that means that you need positive people in your life as well, people who can offer support and encouragement. So it's good that we have circleofparents.com so go there tip of the day talk about <laughs> friendship and you know talk about friendship with your daughter like you know it's me my daughter and i were like best friends because of that because right. you know we spent that experience, that, that experience right. and all and then you know when we fight i always remind her keep in mind and remind your kids that you are still the parent and they are still a child. Because sometimes they treat right, you like a friend. They and wear they you down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and we as parents have to be treated as a parent and they have to be treated like a child. We as parent, we as parent, okay, this is, listen to this. We as parent need respect.
Absolutely. And our children need love. So respect and love, if you Perfect. have that, you will have good relationship with your children. Oh, sorry about sorry that. The banging. <laughs> <laughs> sorry about the banging. No, really. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so see you again. And we will call you in like about a few months. Okay. Even I, after you talk to But Karen. she's moved on and is in love. And I want to hear about, you know, I want to hear about circleparents.com if, you, if yes. you know. And, and I want to hear about that. So I will call you in three months. Okay, can't wait. Okay, Thank you bye. so much for having me. Thanks. Bye. Cheers. Bye. Cheers. Salud. Cheers. Salud. Cheers. Salud. Salud. Cheers. You're listening to Polish <laughs> Only on LA Talk Radio. <laughs> 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 okay, okay. I know. And now we're getting hot flashes.